Today we're in Santa Monica, California in front of Sunny Blue uh, with owner Keiko Nakashima. Thank you so much for agreeing to this interview, Keiko-san. Well, thank you for uh, interviewing me. <laughs> thank you. And how long has your shop been open now? 11 months. 11 months. And in this economy, that's quite a bold move. Yes, a lot of people do, um, have commented that it's a bold move, but I think it was a right move at the right time. And uh, my customers appreciate also that um, I've opened a, a place like this for them, for people who are going through hard times in this economy. And they appreciate it because the price is right, the, the it's not as expensive to have a rice ball, uh, an omu omusubi, as uh, much as maybe a steak or something like that. That's right. I think that's uh, it's the price point that everybody appreciates. And especially on this street also, because I think for the most part, Main Street can be um, uh, a pricier place to um, you know, enjoy food and um, any kind of uh, service. But... Um, so I think at this location especially, they appreciate it. Well, it, it is true. You're on the same street as Wolfgang Puck's uh, Chinois, so that is something. But uh, your your uh, father is the co-owner to Sunny Blue, is that right? He is the owner. I'm, yeah, I would say I'm the co-owner, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's beautiful, though. He believed in your dream, even in this bad economy, and helped you open the shop. Correct. Um, Yes, I am surprised he trusted me. I think he um, trusts himself. He's a really knowledgeable businessman, and he wanted to teach me um, what business is like. And I think he saw um, and trusted um, my ability to do this. And are you an only child? Are you the only daughter? I am the only daughter, I yes. See. <laughs> and are your uh, family members in the food business? No, no one is in the food business. Um, my father has um, been working in Japan, but not in the food business, yes. Oh my, so that really is quite beautiful that he, he believes in his daughter and believes in your dream. And how long have you been here in the United States? Um, approximately 26 years now, um, and um, back and forth. You know, I grew up here a little bit, went to elementary school, and then I went back to Japan, so back and forth. I see. And um, can you explain a little bit about this process of uh, building the successful store? I mean, it is always busy. People are always in here. Yes. Um, the built up of where it comes from, um, I think it just was, you know, um, talking with my father and really getting to know each other. I think we've bonded in many ways um, uh, emotionally, and it was some difficult times and arguments and tears and all kinds of stuff happening. But um, for the most part, um, I'm really happy that we did do this. It's the best decision I've almost made in my life. One of the best decisions I've made in my life. Besides getting married and having children, right? <laughs> Correct. Yes, that is the best decision for sure. Uh -huh. And do your children love omusubi too? They love omusubi and yes. And what's their favorite omusubi and what's the best seller here? Well, our best seller is the miso beef, uh, spicy salmon. And um, my children's favorite, they all I have four and they all have their favorites, different favorites. And what made you think of omusubi um, and not a sushi shop? Because sushi is everywhere. I want, I'm pretty much wanted to do something. If I'm going to do something, I want to do something no one else is doing and be... Um, to make it through, I think, also is important. Um, so that's why I chose Omusubi. Well, it's a delightful shop. I mean, it, you've, you've picked two of my favorites, and I would surmise a lot of people's other favorites, Omusubi and frozen <laughs> yogurt. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? right, right, right. <laughs> both the savory and the sweet, yes. It's, you love that, too. Right, I absolutely do. And what's your favorite Omusubi uh, omoide, your memory? Um, my favorite memory is, it's not a favorite, it's really not a great memory, but it's uh, ironic. When I was in elementary school, living in um, Reseda, California, I went to elementary school there, 
And um, my mother would pack me lunch, almost to be for lunch. And I would get teased by kids who are non-Japanese and say, and they would make comments of what it looks like. The, the seaweed, maybe. Mainly the seaweed because it's so black. And sushi wasn't that popular at that time. And therefore, I remember that, you know, they would tease me. So I would tell my mom, please don't make me omusubi anymore because I'm going to get teased. So she stopped making omusubis and started making me sandwiches. And it's ironic that I have a place that I've been teased about. <laughs> well, it's really come a full circle for you. And we're so glad in Santa Monica that it has because we're so enjoying your sunny blue omusubi shop. So thank you very much. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Thank you. Thank you.